Hey everybody, welcome to Farmer Pat's YouTube channel. In this video, I'd like to share with you how to increase habitat for small game like rabbits. And a great way to do this is to make these brush piles right here. And all you have to do is come out and put three or four bigger logs and branches down on the ground. And then you pile the smaller branches on top of that. And you want to put those big branches down so that the weight of the pile does not compact it everything because you want the rabbits to have in the other small game to have room to move underneath this pile and this pile is going to protect them from owls from hawks from fishers from coyotes from bobcats from mountain lions from foxes okay you're really going to see a dramatic increase in the amount of small game on your lands if you simply create these brush piles and place them in strategic positions now, a few years ago, the woods I'm in now used to look just like this, okay? Because there were so many trees growing, and they were all at the pole stage. And the pole stage is like this tree in front of me here, right? You don't see any leaves growing, going up it until you get to the very top. And it's a very small, this tree right here, it's a very small, skinny tree, okay? So if you have 10 of these trees growing at their pole stage, you come through and you cut eight or nine of them down. And now you're going to open up the forest floor to all this light. And this light is going to cause all this new vegetative growth to start growing in your woods. And if you look here, I have a lot of raspberries. And five years ago, I didn't have any of these raspberries. So now I myself have more food. The animals have more food. And I have grasses growing and other plants growing here in the woods. Whereas before, it was just pretty much bare soil looking like this. So, in order to increase habitat for small game, like I said, you want to come through and create these little brush piles. And what's nice about them is that you can conceal them. And look how much the plants cover this up after this is a few years old. And there's tons of rabbits that live underneath here. And that's a year-round food supply. And it's a great food supply in the wintertime in case there's a disruption, right? You can guarantee that you'll have a good source of meat with the amount of rabbits that you will now have living underneath these brush piles, okay? So look at all these raspberries I have to eat now simply by coming out here and opening up the forest floor to the sunlight by cutting down some trees, okay? So see right here these three trees that I have grown right see I cut this one down and if I come and cut maybe these two down and keep this cherry well that cherry is now gonna get a lot bigger it's gonna produce a lot more fruit and like I said now look at the forest floor look at all the new vegetative growth that has now started to grow up here and smaller trees will come up and they'll provide habitat and cover for the animals. They'll provide food for the deer. Now they can <coughs> browse on this, on the buds and eat the buds in the winter time. So don't forget that a little work, a little wise work in nature will make your lands more productive and will give you more food to eat and the animals more food to eat. You can't just let the land go. You kind of have to manipulate it a little bit, but in a wise manner. And furthermore, after you come out here and you cut down some of these trees, you want to cut out the invasive species like autumn olives and multiflora roses and whatever is a non-native plant in your area. You want to keep these out of your woods, okay? So that's pretty much the only work you're going to have to come up and do here after you get this established. Thanks for tuning in to Farm Pat's YouTube channel where I'm trying to teach people about getting back to the basics to satisfy the stomach and the spirit. And don't forget to come out here in nature and partake in nature and you'll get a lot more out of life and the road ahead will be much more clear and much more easier to travel.